welcome back test execution is completed look at here total six passed and one got failed and it took totally six minutes to run and it's just fault of loading that web page that itself take around 20 seconds if the web page is loading within two or three seconds then hardly all these test cases may take two or three minutes it's just that the web page whatever we were seeing is taking little time to load here and that's obvious there are so many people hitting this and i am not maintaining a heavy servers it's just for practice right and it's not a real time one so that's okay to wait for 15 seconds anyhow so look at here you have reported that one test is failed and i deliberately failed this i have modified value for the test file.js firstly from this dashboard itself let's try to understand why the test failed go to the output and here it says expected 25 to equal 26 is your lock so if you go back to your test for test 5 if you remember for python course in the web table we were verifying if the value comes as 25 or not and i modified it to 26 so that it got failed so you can actually see the screenshot as it got failed it captured screenshot so select this screenshot and unfortunately screenshot have captured only the first part it did not scroll for us and captured the remaining item maybe they were working on this feature it's just showing whatever you can see on the top but our actual error is on web table which you need to scroll so let me quickly show you here yeah we did this we were expecting 25 but i just changed the value to 26 before this lecture so that i can explain how it will report when something got failed and um, how you can see the screenshot you are not seeing screenshot for any of the other test because all are passed okay so that's how we can go through the logs screenshot and video but one thing to alert here screenshot somehow sorry video somehow is not completely taking the full execution video it just stops in the middle let me show an example look at here um, it just stopped before we continue on this whole execution then i google to see what went wrong and then i realized that there is an open issue at cypress site that video recorded is incomplete okay last frames that means last executing tests are completed but they are not recorded and the issue is open that means officially cypress accepted that there is a bug here okay so i don't know why they are fixing we are almost end of 2019 but the bug is somewhere in the last year probably they are trying to fix this soon but somehow the video recording is only for first 30 to 45 seconds thereafter it's getting hanged they were asking to use some version but that's not latest version we just cannot go back and work on some older version right so that will not happen for all the tests for example it did not happen for the first test so it's inconsistent behavior and they were trying to fix that but you can already have this feature you know how it is working tomorrow once it is fixed you can automatically enjoy the benefits but it's inconsistent again if you look at this test for this particular test it recorded everything properly so hopefully this bug will get fixed soon so i just want to highlight on that okay now you have fair idea on the dashboard and if you want to do it on your own you might feel little confused on how to set up all these just follow my video again from previous video that how did i start doing this so just follow my instructions and you will be able to complete this part so when you log into your dashboard using github automatically in your test runner also you will see that you logged in okay so once you logged in there officially that cookie will be passed back to your test runner and here also you will see as logged in all right 
so that's about test runner recording the test and looking at the screenshots and logs okay now what again generate reports for test execution results we already saw in dashboard right how they were coming then why do i need to generate one more reporting it requires sometimes when client ask you to have everything at one single place but from my side i would strongly recommend you to use dashboard because this is the beautiful feature that no other automation tool is giving and it's completely consolidated at one place but some might feel that why do i have to log into some portal to see the results i do want to see everything here itself my tests are here and my reports also should be in my repository only i don't want to log in again into any external port and look at my results if that is the case then you can just build one html report on your execution so how do you do that um for that you can actually use an external report plugins what you have with cypress there is a plugin called mocasm let me show you that i don't know how to spell it but moca is a framework what we are using right testing framework and there is a reporting called mocasm and with this reporting we can use this dependency basically and get test html reporting for our execution and this will be part of your code only use this only if you don't want to use um dashboard service so if you go to moca sum we need to get these dependencies first you all know how to get these dependencies if you do npm install hyphen hyphen save dev then it will be installed in your machine and at the same time it will have one copy in your package.json so the tomorrow when others want to run they can simply use npm install as the copy is already stored in package.json all right so let's follow this instructions they were asking first to install add mocasm for your project okay let's do that um npm install save dev mocasm and also you need moca framework as dependency in your package.json in general moca comes as a package with cypress but when you want to use external plugin of mocasm it will also look for moca node module in your machine because this package is depended upon moca node module which is not currently present in our framework it comes with cypress bundle but it expects that to have as a separate folder so let's also download moca npm install save dev moca as we have given save dev if you go back to your package.json file look at here moca some dependency is automatically created and when you check in this project if someone want to work on it they can simply say npm install moca some all right so added 72 packages and you can see moca written here which is great but there is one more cache here with cypress somehow cypress is not supporting this latest version of moca when you want to do with this reporting um this is recently released this version is recently released and cypress is trying to support for this reporting part but for now stable version is 5.4.2 i guess let me see um yeah here is where i understood that so you will run into an error like this if you use the latest version of moca and then i researched and found that most of us suggesting us to use moca 5.2.0 it's working fine and then i did that and it worked for me as well and then i wondered why they have closed this issue but again they have opened recently saying that it's not respecting moca version so this bug is in open mode right now but you can happily work with moca sum if you use 5.2.0 and this version doesn't matter for moca sum you can stick to this 5.2.0 it happily works without any issue 
right if you update version like this then you have to do npm install again so that it brings the latest version for you whatever you given here so 5.2.0 is what you updated now so that it brings that specific version into your system all right guys so we have that mocha and mocha awesome we have successfully brought dependencies into our system we'll continue and finish this reporting in our next lecture thank you